Hello, this is Ruth Alfoyer of .sysx, and this is a video demonstration of GReader, which is a Google Reader application developed by Modris Mobile, and it's running currently on my Nokia 5530 Express Music. Let's open GReader. Uh, the application has a very nice newspaper kind of feel with white backgrounds and um, dark gray text. So uh, the first thing you'll notice on GReader is the UI. Uh, so you have the application name here on the top. And then you have um, status icons here, which show you the battery status, the reception status, as well as uh, the connection and whether or not the application is updating. So uh, while I was speaking, you might have noticed that uh, the news here have changed. This is because GReader automatically connected to the internet checked my items and downloaded the newest uh, the newest ones. So um, let's click, click on options and go to settings. Here you can see that I can enter my registration code as well as set it to auto connect and auto disconnect. And then I can uh, say whether or not I'd like it to synchronize with my Google Reader account. Then I have it uh, to set uh, whether or not I want to forward some items to Twitter and here we have on and off and I have my Twitter credentials. Then there's also the font size, which can be set to large or normal. I have it set to large right now. And a final option, which is uh, to show only on red items. And let's get back to the main uh, UI. Uh, you have the name of the tab here because there are several tabs and you can scroll left and right. Uh, then you have the news items. And as you see, you have the news title, then you have the subscription name here, which published this article, and then we have a small excerpt from uh, the text. We also have the date the article was published on, as well as a very uh, nice uh, icons which show whether or not uh, this article is stored, uh, read or unread, as well as shared or not shared. Let's click on this nice arrow here and you'll notice that there is a small animation and it has moved to my stored items which is the second set now i clicked on this small arrow but as you might have noticed this is very small and it's very hard to do so the nice way of scrolling would be to put your finger and then just go from left to right through the tabs so this is my stored items and as you notice, there's uh, the star, which is lit in a very nice yellowish-orange uh, kind of color. And I also have the number of stored items, which are unread. So these are my stored items. I'll go to my shared items now, which is the third tab. And what you'll notice on the shared items is that there's a blue icon, uh, which shows me uh, that uh, the article has been shared by others to me and then if i go down there's also this yellow icon which tells me that this is uh, an item that i have shared with my friends so it's a very nice uh, color differentiation that lets me uh, see uh, the state of the items whether i have shared them with others or others have shared them with me and it's all in a very nice one tab view the fourth tab is my red items so here you'll notice that the middle icon is in gray because these are red items. Then we have my unread items and it's basically almost the same view as all items when I have it set to only show me the unread. One of the features of GReader is that it allows me to view my uh, Google Reader items by uh, read or unread, starred and shared and stuff like that as demoed before but it also allows me to see them by either a uh, folder view or by individu individual subscription view. So here we have a demo, for example, of one of my folder views. This is my Symbian Blogs uh, uh, folder view. And as you can see, I have news items, uh, unread news items from Symbian France, knockknock.tv, Nokia Expert, Nokia 5800 blog, as well as a couple others. Then if I go, uh, if I scroll, I have my Symbian forums with no unread items, Symbian themes with a couple of uh, news items. 
and we have my tech folder uh, with unread items from Gear Diary, uh, Lifehacker, TechCrunch, uh, as well as a couple others. So this is the folder view, but I can also, if I continue on scrolling, my folders are basically done here. So I'll switch to the subscription view. And in the subscription view, I can see individual subscriptions. Here, there is no unread items. But if I continue scrolling, they are displayed by alphabetical order. So here we have a brilliant blog from Jeb Brilliant, Adelina S60 Themes, um, Aditya Singhvi's phone, and Ahmed's word. And I can keep on continue scrolling through all of my subscriptions. And I can also, as I said, view them by Let's folder. talk about reading an article. Suppose that I would like to read uh, this uh, article, for example, uh, the time spent on the Yahoo homepage by TechCrunch. I'll simply tap on the article and I have it open. And it supports kinetic scrolling, so if I scroll up and down, well, it will go through it and then I can continue scrolling. And as you notice, it opened the image, so it's showing right now uh, the article, the full text, as well as the image. Um, now, if I'd like to close this after reading it, I simply tap and hold, and it's closed. Here it is. Uh, or if I w don't want it to close, uh, if I I can have other options here, which is by simply one tap without holding. I'll just tap on the screen. And I have a nice pop-up menu uh, showing, and it allows me to open uh, this article in uh, the web browser. So click it, and I have it connecting to the internet. And it basically, it will just open the full uh, TechCrunch web page um, here. So I'll, for now, I'll just stop it and close it and go back to the demo. But anyway, you see the point of uh, this. And I can also, other than open it, I can forward it in an SMS. So let's tap on that. It requires a double click, but basically it'll just paste uh, the feed link here, as well as uh, allow you to, for example, type the name or the number of the person and then add a, some text if you'd like to. Um, but it just adds uh, the link to the page here. Uh, the other options are to forward it via Twitter and if you remember I have my Twitter account set up in the settings so simply if I click on this uh, forward via Twitter it'll simply be sent to Twitter it's connecting here and it's setting it whoop and message sent click and we're back uh, I don't need to do anything it just sends the link to Twitter uh, the other options that are available are basically to remove the star because this is already starred. If the item wasn't starred, uh, I would have uh, the uh, add star here option. I can also share it uh, with my friends. Uh, then I can mark it as read, mark all the items here as, as read, mark all as unread, forward it in an email, uh, and then also sort the items by date, time, as well as read, unread, or by title. Let's try, for example, to sort them by title. Click on sort by title. And if I close now, I can see that all the items are sorted by their title. One function I really love about GReader is the search uh, feature. So if I go left from the main all items view, I have the search tab, which is the zero tab pop up. and let me show you what I really like about it. Uh, I'll search for something like offline as it happens, which is a new uh, campaign by the Nokia One Word guys. And I'll click on search. And as you notice, it's very instantaneous. It just gave me the results. And these are uh, what you'll notice about them is that there's a very nice icon here, which is red. And this tells me that these items are in my subscription folder. So basically, uh, I'm researching the items which are on my device. But if I scroll down, there are items which have the regular green uh, icon. And these are the items that are uh, that Gereader has searched for on the web. 
So basically, when I type something and click on search, it will search through my subscriptions as well as on the internet and give me results on, uh, on the both um, uh, databases and differentiate the results with this uh, icon color difference.